In this Astro Pictionary math problem, we're going to go over radiometric dating. Specifically, we're going to calculate the age of a fossil that contains carbon-14. We're given initially 36 grams of a substance containing carbon-14 atoms that now only has 12 grams of carbon-14 remaining. We're also given that carbon-14 has a half-life of 5730 years and a decay constant equal to 1.2 e minus 4 1 over years, or inverse years. We want to know how old is this fossil. So you found a fossil. The fossil initially had 36 grams containing carbon-14 atoms. And now, of that 36 grams, there's only 12 grams remaining of carbon-14. We want to find out how old is this fossil. Well, we're given two equations. n is equal to n0 e of the minus lambda t, where lambda is a decay constant, t is time, n is the final number of radioactive atoms, and n0 is the initial number of radioactive atoms. We're also given the half-life equation, where half-life is equal to natural log of 2 over the decay constant. We're given that carbon-14 has 14 AMU, or 14 grams per mole, and Avogadro's constant of 1 mole is equal to 6.02 e of the 23 atoms. So let's solve. We're going to use our n is equal to n0 e to the minus lambda t equation, but we're going to put it in the form of m is equal to m0 e to the minus lambda t. Initially is 36 grams, so that's got to be m0. So m0 is 36 grams, but now we only have 12 remaining, so that's got to be m. And then we've got our e to the minus lambda t, and I'm just going to leave it as lambda t for now. So now we need to divide both sides of the equation by 36. And we can see 12 divided by 36 is just one third. But on the right hand side of the equation, we can eliminate the 36. So we have one third on the left hand side, and we have e to the minus lambda t on the right hand side. So now we need to take the natural log of both sides of the equation. And the same thing with the right hand side. Take the natural log. Well, natural log of e to the minus lambda t is just a minus lambda t. And natural log of 1 third, let's go find out what it is. So we say natural log, parentheses, 1 divided by 3 out of parentheses equals, and we have minus 1.09, the 8 is greater than 5, kicks the 9 up, so we have minus 1.1. So our value on the left-hand side is minus 1.1. Now let's substitute everything in. We've got minus 1.1 on the left-hand side, no units, as our units of grams canceled out over here. And we have minus lambda, our lambda value we're given is 1.2 e to the minus 4. And I'm going to put it as times 10 to the minus 4. And we have 1 over year units. And we want to multiply that by t. So we can see that our negatives cancel out. So let's make them positives. And now we need to divide both sides of the equation by 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4. And of course, carry the units with it. 1 over year to both sides of the equation. Well, 1 over year units in the denominator is just year units in the numerator. So I'll just carry that down. Year in the numerator, put our equal sign. And as you can see, on the right-hand side, our 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4 cancels out on the top and the bottom, as well as 1 over year and 1 over year. So the only thing we're left with on the right-hand side is just t for time. Now we have 1.1 divided by 1.2 times 10 to the minus 4. So we have to clear that out. 1.1 divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 
e minus 4. Hit the equal sign, and we have 9, 1, 6, 6, 6 with a bunch of 6s after it. So this 6 kicks this one up to a 7, so we have 9, 1, 6, 7. Let's see how many digits we have. We've got two digits for 1.1, 1.2, 1.2, 1.2. So we only have two digits, so we're going to have to round this 6 up to make this 9166 9200. So we only keep the 92. So we're going to have a value of 9.2 times 10, and now we have to count the number of digits. 9.2 times 10 to the 3. Oops, put it in the wrong spot. 9.2 times 10 to the 3 years. So it's around, as you can see, it's around 9,200 years. That is the age of this fossil containing carbon-14.